Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. In this uh, episode and the coming episodes, we're going to look at uh, the wisdom and instruction that God has given us in His Word to live a supernatural life. And in particular, we're going to be looking at the book of Proverbs and the wisdom that is there. Uh, in fact, uh, we have uh, you know 31 chapters and one for every day of the month, if you would like to read. So uh, I'm just going to read from Proverbs chapter 3, verses 1 to 4. My son, do not forget my law, but let your heart keep my commands. For length of days and long life and peace they will add to you. Let not mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. And so find favor and high esteem in the sight of God and man. So we see a couple of instructions here on what we need to do and also the end result of carrying out or following through those instructions. Instruction one is a set of instruction is that uh, God says, um, my son, do not forget my law. My son, do not forget my law. So the the onus is on us to um, to remember, to consciously, intentionally remember and not to forget. And it says, let your heart keep my commands. Uh, let your heart, meaning your innermost being, let your innermost being with all emotions and, uh, and intellect and everything, um, let it acknowledge my commands. And not just acknowledge, but keep my commands keep meaning guard preserve protect maintain and obey so let your innermost being do this with my command don't forget my commands um, in other words he's saying do not just intellectually appreciate or even superficially acknowledge my law but with your innermost being obey it follow through keep it and the result of, of doing so will be long life, peace, and length of days. They will be added to us. In other words, protection from harm and danger. Now, why does this happen? Because we, our choices, our motives, our decisions, our imaginations, everything changes when God's law is kept in our heart when we follow God's law. Everything changes. So we do not get into any self-destructive behavior, self-destructive imagination, self-destructive choices. So length of days, God ensures, will be added to us. The other set of instructions is, uh, is, is what we see here. Let not mercy and truth forsake you. Uh, being kind to others, mercy, goodness, and truth, the quality of being truthful, let it not forsake you or let it not depart from you, let it not leave you or abandon you. Uh, and uh, the instruction given here is bind them around your tongue, around your neck and write them on the tablet of your heart. In fact, like an ornament, like a necklace around your neck, you bind them, let mercy and truth, let it be always be part of you, let it be etched or inscribed in your heart. And uh, the end result of that is favor and high esteem in the sight of God and man. So this is something that we have for us today, this instruction and the result of following through uh, that instruction. So let's pray and ask God to write this upon our hearts. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this wisdom and instruction that we read just now. We thank you, God, for, for teaching us how we need to keep your word in our hearts and how we need to bind truth and mercy and let it be part of our lives and let it be etched in our hearts. And Father, we thank you for the end result of long life and peace and length of days and high esteem and favor with you and with men around. We thank you that it will result in that. We give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.